caliber number can mean two different things depending on if you're in manual fire or auto fire mode. Manual fire mode, the caliber number corresponds to a caliber group select. We could have 10 devices listed in caliber group 1. If we hit caliber group select number 1, we would only be selecting that group of 10 devices. We could have another five devices, let's say, that have a caliber of two associated with them. So that when we hit caliber group two, we're only selecting those five devices to fire. Keep in mind this is specifically for manual fire mode. Caliber means something entirely different when shooting an auto fire. So this would be used, uh, a good example would be uh, an Anthem uh, the beginning of, say, a, a baseball game. You're not going to use auto fire to fire an anthem because you could have a different tempo depending on who's singing it, uh, if it's a band, an individual singer. The computer is not going to know exactly when to fire those cues if it's done to a live performance. So you'd want to be in manual fire mode for that example, and using the caliber group select allows you to effectively organize those shots during that manual fire sequence. Organizing them into rockets red glare, bombs bursting in air, uh, anthem finale. You might have some shots during a baseball player introduction. When ready to fire in a manual mode, you turn the controller on. It would normally go through its EEPROM check. If you were in a hurry out in the field, needed, you can always bypass by hitting any one of the operating mode buttons. We're going to go into manual fire mode. It's going to ask you to clear the firing sight. Do a visual check. Make sure the firing sight is clear. Turn the arming key. Now you can see we're on table two. Since we program caliber numbers for each of our shots, we're going to go to caliber group one by pressing caliber group select button one. It's telling you you're in caliber group one and you have two shots remaining in this group. That means you have two different presses of the trigger in this caliber group. When you're in manual fire mode, if you do not have the hold fire button down, the controller will beep at you and do nothing. The hold fire button must be depressed. Then you pull the trigger. It has now fired. You can always press this button here to display the remaining shots this is showing you the top lines correspond to group 1 through 8. So one group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, so on and so forth to 8. And the bottom are groups 9 through 16. If you had other caliber groups programmed that have been unfired since you went into manual fire mode, they would show up the number of shots you have remaining in those particular caliber groups. Since we fired one of the two shots in our group 1, we have one shot remaining in caliber group one. That display will remain as long as you hold the button down. These spaces next to each of the caliber group numbers can be used to write notes in reference to what's in each caliber group. It's usually best to put a piece of tape there that you can uh, write on.